Okay guys, this is uh, Angel Boy K, or Kyle, and I'm coming at you today with, uh, well, this is going to be a mini-series about, well, pretty much just an excuse to talk about myself, and how conceited I am. Um, I gotta start with killing the sheep, I'm sorry if this bores you. I, I know I should really work on my other series, like Hardcore, and my mod Spotlight, which I'm planning on doing soon. And even our music video, which we also plan on doing sometime. And also, you guys are probably wondering, Paladin's Quest. Where's Paladin's Quest? I want to see more Paladin's Quest. That's your most viewed video. Why are you not doing Paladin's Quest? That's because I have decided that <clears throat> I like Paladin's Quest. I love I love the gameplay. I love the storyline. But I just wasn't feeling into it. Like, I really want to get into games. So I've decided to do this. It's This is going to be like... Uh, I don't know, like, uh, I'll give this a creative name later, like, K Corner or something, Kyle's Corner, but, you know, with K's. So, for now, I'm just gonna call it, uh, no, uh, uh I, don't know, I don't know what I'll call it. I'll, I'll make up some name for the, the title, which you guys have probably already seen because you're watching the video. Anyway, this is gonna be, this is about the Nomad Experience, which is a challenge added to the game to make it harder and way more interesting. Especially, I am not allowed to stay in any area for more than a night, for more than a day. And I have to find some place to camp at night, and I think I have enough food, so I'm just gonna go off on an adventure. I'm gonna try and find some mushrooms. I've got, I've got wood, and I also had update because I was playing around with the Aether mod, which you guys will see in a bit. Um, yeah, so I have to go through the night, and I have to manage my inventory, and I have to always be on hard mode, and yeah, I gotta survive. So, this series has no foreseeable end, but it's got, hopefully it'll be interesting. But this will also be relatively interesting enough that I can just... Ooh, yes, mushrooms. Yes. I need mushrooms so I can make... Uh, mushroom stew. Instant houses if I get bone meal later. I should make a pickaxe. Nah, I'll just find one when I hit a mountain. Oh, yes, materials. I think I'm doing this right. I don't know if I'm allowed to stop and actually mine materials. What am I doing? And I read a guide. I, I, got, I got this epic app that shows me how to do like everything. So, and there was like a little like how to on how to do the nomadic experience. And it was pretty useful, so I think I'll follow it. I don't know, does wood mine iron? I don't think it does. So I gotta get stone. I don't know if I'm allowed to explore caves. I don't believe I am. But, so I'm just going to work with the surface materials, so I probably won't be able to go searching for diamond. So, surface diamond is pretty much the only thing available to me, and surface diamond is next to non-existent. And by next to non-existent, I mean non-existent. I should be able to eat a mushroom. Maybe I can make a potion stand. Oh. That's that's all that happens when you right-click. I, I thought it might, like, poison me or something. Nah. Just does that. Piggies! Ugh. Yeah, it tastes so good. I'm gonna beat you to death on that wooden pickaxe. Die, pig, die! Come here, piggy. Ugh. And I get nothing from you. Oh, yeah. Chicken fat. Well, uh, one thing that I'm gonna talk about is. I don't know if you just heard that. That's my iPod. Go, Apple. You're amazing. Mm. And. Iron pick. That's uh, stone pick. Because I hate wooden picks with a passion. Which you might know if you've watched any of my earlier videos. But let's face it, who's watching these videos? So, yay! Stone sword. And I'm going to go with my OCD here. Maybe get some torches set up. I guess I won't need a lot of coal because I'm just going to like set up and end every night. 
So, gotta get enough for a furnace. Take this crafting table with me. Slaughter a couple sheep. Nah, probably pigs. I'll need food. Oh. What was that? Oops, sorry, if you had to hear that. I'm also... We've decided to not do this for money. And just do it because we like to do this. And by that we mean we got kicked from AdSense. Because some random guy decided to spam click our ads. Which got us banned. Thanks for that, Google. Thank you. And thanks to that guy who did it. We found out who it was. We actually... We, we found him. Apparently he goes to our school. He's very spiteful towards us. Anyway, so... We kind of got back at him a bit, but, you know, Google doesn't care. Google doesn't care. As far as they, as, as far as they're concerned, we did something wrong. Anyway, uh, also about the servers. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's just water. Ooh, this is pretty cool over here. Also about the server. Uh, we've been actually been working on it. And by we, I mean me. Is this just an endless ocean over here? Hmm. So interesting. I like the seed. And the music. <laughs> I gotta get hope I can find a skeleton. And you get some bone meat. Oh, come here, you. Die, pig. Wow. I know my food meter is a bit low and by a guess I'll need some more cobble. Should've gotten some more when I was there. Anyway. Also, I have a, a very interesting story to tell you guys. Ooh, this looks interesting. Okay, so I can't go exploring caves, so I have to find- I can't- I have to find entrances, I can't dig down. I have to find entrances. That's- that's how the caves are gonna work for me. Sand, coal. Ooh, coal. And... So, this is a very interesting story. Um, I went to a mall. Surprising, because- I barely ever leave my house because I'm a nerd. But, uh, I was actually going to- I went to the mall, because we were going to see the new movie, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, god. Oh, yes, We Bought a Zoo. Very uncreatively named, but I have to say it was a very, very good movie. I'd probably call it the family feel-good movie of the year. And by family, I mean, oh, no, there was some language in there, but honestly, I didn't care. And it was pretty good. So, uh, I saw it, and I also saw Super 8, which also stars uh, Ellen Fa L, L, L Fanning. I, I always get the name mixed up. Who is now one of my my fam my favorite female actress, with female actress as opposed to male actress. Honestly, oh god. Anyway. Honestly, she was very good. I, I loved her performance, especially in Super 8. I watched Super 8 twice in two days because I just loved it so much. And honestly, Elle Fanning is probably going to be... Oh, God, what was that? Oh, jeez. It's probably going to be the new uh, head. Probably going to be... Oh, God, I'm focusing. Oh, it's going to be the new... I honestly think she's going to be like the new Miranda Cosgrove or something. Co yeah, so this is gonna be interesting. Now, ooh, I wonder what time it is. I'm not gonna be able to get redstone, so like a boat, boat. I'm gonna boat. I'm good. I'm good at this game. Take this with me. Precious, precious resources. Clay, that's cool. Oh, trees. Let's go over that way. The boat really only works in single player. I have not, I have not seen any actual good uses of multiplayer. Anyway, back to, back to the. Oh God, back to the. Back to the mall story. Anyway, so I was in the mall. I'm going to get my friend's new glasses. Uh, which took forever. Thanks a lot, lens crafters. And once we actually got the glasses, as we walked out, apparently there was a 
there, there's a man who apparently prowls the mall every day. Just sh shows up randomly. Prowls the mall. S like, in, like, this furry trench coat. Singing. And... Oh, oh god, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. Okay, so here comes the first time of night. He was singing in a furry trench coat, bouncing a bouncy ball, and singing something about, I'll save the world because I'm a superhero. And the whole time, I was just standing there thinking, that is cool. I want to be like him when I grow up. Because, you know, I have plans for my life. Like, prowling them all every day, searching for small children. Yeah. Every child molester I've ever met sounds exact, looks exactly like him. I'm sorry if that joke is Beavis and Butthead. Okay, fine, whatever. My sister has just informed me that I have to leave because she has friends. Man. Shut up. Anyway. So, Skyrim. I've been playing Skyrim. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore her for a bit. Anyway, I've been playing Skyrim, and I have an irrational fear of spiders. And I know what you guys are thinking, what you're saying right now. It's like, oh, you don't have an irrational fear of spiders. What are you talking about? There's spiders all over Minecraft. Yes, but I'm not afraid of a spider that is, like, made of Legos. I might just, like, I think I'm just gonna call out this little stuff here. I'm camping here. Cap bar! Okay. So anyway, I have the rational fear of spiders, and as you guys know, or if you play Skyrim at all, you guys would know 